Hey, what's up, guys? Lux here bringing you a new video, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This time, we're going to be taking a look at a collection video instead of a set overall. So, uh, yeah, this should be fun. It just crossed my mind that, hey, I have every LEGO Minecraft minifigure skin that LEGO has ever made, so might as well make a video on it. This was thanks to Upcast Beat. He actually recommended it in the comment section, and it never really crossed my mind. While it's not the most, like, outstanding or original idea out there, it's still something that was brought to my attention by him, so I'll give him the credit. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at every main figure skin release from earliest to latest. I'm gonna give you the day when they were released and obviously the set they came in. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, here we have a Steve, Lego Steve. This is the most basic Steve you could find out there in the market. No armor, no accessories, no nothing on him. This Steve can be found in a variety of sets, up to 15 total sets that Lego has released so far in the making of this video and this Steve first debuted in 2014 in the cave set yeah it's a pretty basic Steve his design has not changed since then and you can expect to see a lot more of them even today and in future sets so yeah 2014 the present and found in 15 sets let's move on next up here is Alex the most basic Alex you can find in sets and again she came out a year later after Steve. She came out in 2015, debuted in the Desert Outpost set. And since then, it has been present in at least seven sets so far and beyond because we know they're going to keep putting it in her sets, similar to Steve. So, but yeah, this is Alex. Again, a very basic print all around. And uh, let's move on. Next up here, we're going to be taking a look at one of the skins found in Skin Pack 1, released in 2016, and came with four minifigures. This is one of them. Now, they don't have any official set names, but uh, he's somewhat widely known as, or just a cyborg. There's no real, like, lore or anything to back it up. It's just like, hey, that's kind of what he looks like. So that's what people, at least some people, have been calling him. And I guess I'll stick with that. But anyways, he's only one of the figures found in that set, so let's move on to the next figure. Next up, uh, again, no official names. This might not be a female at all, but kind of looks like a girl. Not sure, I'm assuming here, but anyways, Creeper Skin, there we go. Also came in the exact same set, the Minecraft Skin Pack 1, and in 2016. Pretty neat considering, you know, it's a Creeper hoodie or outfit, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to see here, and now let's move on to the next figure. Next up here, same set, same year. I like to call this guy the new player because uh, he doesn't look like the most experienced player. His accessory was also a wood shovel in the set, so... That's kind of, you know, a not very skillful thing to have in Minecraft. But I do love that pork chop shirt. Wish it was uh, a bit more pink to match up the in the actual game, but uh, it's, it's still a pretty nice looking print all around. Not, no back printing, obviously, but yes, can't complain about more figures. Anyways, moving on. The last figure found in the skin pack one set would be this guy. Again, no official name, but I call him the adventurer. Because, you know, he has that kind of Indiana Jones type look with his, uh, mainly his brown outfit. And, and come on, who else wears long sleeves besides adventurers? If you take a closer look, he has a little belt right there and a good pair of jeans. Not gonna lie, but yeah, that, that was the last figure in Skin Pack 1. Now we're gonna move on to Skin Pack 2. Here we have the start of Skin Pack 2, released in 2016 as well. These coincided with each other, but this is a Golden Knight. I call him that because Lego has released another knight skin in future sets, so this this guy's more of a golden knight or maybe orange. I don't know what you want to classify him as, uh, but if we take a look around here, no printing in the back. But at the same time, that's it pretty much uh, matches what the other figures had. No printing in the back, but it's a really neat and detailed design in the front. And I can't really complain about it, so that's one of the skins found in Skin Pack 2. Moving on. Next up, same date, same sets. Here we got the flower girl, or at least that's what I call her. She has some overalls, as you can see. If you take a look at the back, nothing too special there, as we've expected with most of these skin pack figures, but obviously good amount of detail on the front. I like that little flower accessory in the hair, and I can't confirm that this one is a female, so. That is another skin found in the sets, and moving on. Here we have the dirt figure found in the same set. This is more, this guy looks a little bit like a pirate, or at least a crew member, so that's why I'm Basing him off as, obviously you can see a very nice dark blue little jacket above him with some going buns. And obviously he has a little shirt right there, you can see it. And some nice jeans. Again, a pretty good looking figure found in Skin Pack 2. 
and let's move on with the last one. And last but certainly not least, the last skin figure found in the Minecraft Skin Pack 2 set would be this astronaut. Now he's not officially called that, but come on. This guy's a freaking astronaut. At the very least he's some cyborg type thing, but yeah he's really nice. I like the little sand blue coloring all around. He has a good amount of detail on the helmet. Can't get over that. Also a good amount going uh, from the body all the way to the feet. So yeah pretty nice. Probably one of my favorite from all the skin packs combined. So now moving on to non skin pack skins. Here we have one of the unique skins found in the Skull Arena set. Now the set officially calls them Skull Arena Player 1. However that's not really that good of a name. We know that. I think this guy is, uh, looks a little bit like, I don't know, a temple guard or maybe also a cyborg, just screen. This guy definitely looks more of like a cyborg, but yes, this is one of the figures found there, and it's a pretty good looking one, I gotta say. It's probably just a green, but definitely one of my favorite skins that LEGO has released. And now moving on to the next figure. Also found in the same set, here we have uh, Skull Arena Player 2, as the set calls him. By the way, this was released in 2018. It was a 2018 set and again a very unique skin no printing in the back as we're getting used to with these uh, Minecraft skin sets or figures in general however this figure is, looks pretty neat it kind of from the face kind of looks like a Egyptian but I'll just call him I don't know a warrior because I really can't make out what she or he is exactly but yeah that's a pretty neat figure found there two exclusive figures found in one set a pretty good one at that so can't complain there and there we have it next up here we have the pirate now this was is officially called the pirate found in the pirate ship adventure set so it's fitting this is why i called the previous one a crew member because they have the same blue jacket and button layout if you go all the way around this one actually does have printing not too detailed but quite subtle and quite neat a little rip in the back obviously showing that he has experience or he's bad with clothing anyways this set was released in 2019 and can still be found on store shelves such as the previous one the skull arena and i like the little ipad and you can see the beard that he has right there and some red jeans <laughs> not bad but yeah that's uh pretty much it for this figure pretty nice one next up here we all know her we all love her come on this is the dragon slayer skin from the end battle set in 2019 and uh you can actually get this figure with an exclusive code found in the set in any Minecraft Bedrock platform, so that's really neat. Obviously in the back, she has significantly more print, at least compared to her previous Minecraft skin minifigures. And I definitely love the coloring on this one. Very bright blue. She has a hood on, uh, her hair is covering one of her eyes, very emo-like. She has a little strap on her as well. You can also see some rips in her jeans, so. Yeah, very nice figure. Definitely one of my top favorites for no bias reasons whatsoever, but anyways, moving on. Next up here, here we have the Blacksmith from the Creeper Mindset, released in 2019, the last wave of 2019, and probably the most elusive slash expensive figure in my collection. Not because of her pricing, so to say, but more so because, like, I don't want to get into it right now. It's a whole backstory. You can see my haul. You can see my previous video. If you all know about it. But anyways, moving on. This is a very nice skin for sure. Like I said, this is fine in the Creeper Mindset. She has a little bit of printing in the back a little strip going around her and if we uh circle back around you can see she's wearing uh some goggles on her hair and some overalls so that's pretty neat looks like she, she's wearing like three pairs of clothes right there i don't know that's just two i don't know i can't tell because of the different coloring but anyways pretty neat figure for sure glad to have her in my collection and to be done with her pretty much but yeah you can pick her up right now in the creeper mindset for sure if you really like it but anyways moving on here we have the other night skin I was talking about earlier. This is found in the Pillager Outpost uh, set released in 2020 in the most recent wave, so that's pretty neat. I love the silver body and legs that he has all around. Very, very flashy. Not too new, not too flashy. It's not too shiny, but it, it's just enough to give him that really nice look. If we go all the way around the back, you can see a nice little detail for like chain armor, almost. You can also see it in the front. Very neatly detailed. Not to mention the little belt, you can, very subtle, but you can see it as well as the shield and not to mention the head. This has a more of a gold reflective print as well. And, and the blue eyes, they definitely stand on the helmet. So yeah, very nice figure. And now moving on to the last skin that LEGO has released so far for Minecraft. Now, if you've been a LEGO fan for a while now, you would recognize this character. Not just if you're a LEGO Minecraft enthusiast, but this is actually 
officially called Kai from the Illager Raid sets released in 2020, so the most recent set. And one of my favorite sets personally of 2020, but to be fair, it's like the only one, or one of the only ones I bought so far. Still, it's a really good set. You should check out the review. <clears throat> Anyways, as you can see in the back, he has a little bit of detailing, kind of reminiscent of the of the Swordcaster attachment that Kai had in the earlier seasons. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, this is this is indeed a reference or a kind of a nod to Ninjago Lego's own theme, and they integrated it in Minecraft form right here. And as a new skin, nonetheless, so that's really neat. From the name to the yellow skin you can see underneath the hood, to obviously the red coloring that Kai has. This is definitely one of the better minifigure skins that LEGO has released, and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. These are all the different or unique skins that LEGO has released for LEGO Minecraft. And honestly, for being around since uh, 2014, it's not a lot. And in the more recent years, I definitely have started uh, pushing out different or unique skins in the most recent wide release sets but yeah i'll be happy if uh, this collection keeps growing and maybe i'll make an update video once uh, more sets come out but yeah that's uh, pretty much it and thank you guys for watching again thanks to upcast for giving me this recommendation slash idea but anyways guys if you enjoyed you know what to do and i'll see you next time